Hasagade was the capital of the Achaemenid Empire under Cyrus the Great, who ordered its construction and the location of his tomb. Today, it is an archaeological site and one of Iran's UNESCO World Heritage Sites, about 90 kilometers to the northeast of the modern city of Shiraz. Chapter 1 History Hasagade was founded in the 6th century BCE as the first capital of the Achaemenid Empire by Cyrus the Great, near the site of his victory over the Median king Astyages in 550 BCE. The city remained the Achaemenid capital until Darius moved it to Persepolis. The archaeological site covers 1.6 square kilometers and includes a structure commonly believed to be the mausoleum of Cyrus, the fortress of Toli Tact sitting on top of a nearby hill, and the remains of two royal palaces and gardens. Hasagade Persian gardens provide the earliest known example of the Persian Kahaba, or fourfold garden design. The remains of the tomb of Cyrus' son and successor Cambyses II have been found in Pasargade, near the fortress of Toli Takht, and identified in 2006. The gate R, located at the eastern edge of the palace area, is the oldest known freestanding propylium. It may have been the architectural predecessor of the Gate of All Nations at Persepolis. Chapter 2 Tomb of Cyrus the Great The most important monument in Pasargade, is the tomb of Cyrus the Great. It has six broad steps leading to the sepulchre, the chamber of which measures 3.17 meters long by 2.11 meters wide by 2.11 meters high and has a low and narrow entrance. Though there is no firm evidence identifying the tomb as that of Cyrus, Greek historians say that Alexander believed it was. When Alexander looted and destroyed Persepolis, he paid a visit to the tomb of Cyrus. Arian, writing in the 2nd century CE, recorded that Alexander commanded Aristobulus, one of his warriors, to enter the monument. Inside he found a golden bed, a table set with drinking vessels, a gold coffin, some ornaments studded with precious stones and an inscription on the tomb. No trace of any such inscription survives, and there is considerable disagreement to the exact wording of the text. Strabo and Arian report that it read. The design of Cyrus' tomb is credited to Mesopotamian or Elamite ziggurats, but the cella is usually attributed to Uatu tombs of an earlier period. In particular, the tomb at Pasargade has almost exactly the same dimensions as the tomb of Aliats, father of the Lydian king Croesus, however, some have refused the claim. The main decoration on the tomb, is a rosette design over the door within the gable. In general, the art and architecture found at Pasargade exemplified the Persian synthesis of various traditions, drawing on precedents from Elam, Babylon, Assyria, and ancient Egypt, with the addition of some Anatolian influences. Chapter 3, Archaeology The first capital of the Achaemenid Empire, Pasargade lies in ruins 40 kilometers from Persepolis, in present-day Fars province of Iran. Pasargade was first archaeologically explored by the German archaeologist Ernst Herzfeld in 1905, and in one excavation season in 1928, together with his assistant Friedrich Krafter. Since 1946, the original documents, notebooks, photographs, fragments of wall paintings and pottery from the early excavations are preserved in the Freer Gallery of Art, Smithsonian Institution, in Washington, D.C. After Hersfeld, Sir R. L. Stein completed a site plan for Passargade in 1934. In 1935, Eric F. Schmidt produced a series of aerial photographs of the entire complex. From 1949 to 1955, an Iranian team led by Ali Sami worked there. A British Institute of Persian Studies team led by David Stronach resumed excavation from 1961 to 1963. It was during the 1960s that a pot hoard known as the Pasargade treasure was excavated near the foundations of Pavilion B at the site. Dating to the 5th-4th centuries BC, the treasure consists of ornate Achaemenid jewelry made from gold and precious gems and is now housed in the National Museum of Iran and the British Museum. It has been suggested that the treasure was buried as a subsequent action once Alexander the Great approached with his army, then remained buried, hinting at violence. After a gap, 
work was resumed by the Iranian Cultural Heritage Organization and the Maison de Lorient et de la Méditerranée of the University of Lyon in 2000. The complex is one of the key cultural heritage sites for tourism in Iran. Chapter 4, Shivand Dam Controversy There has been growing concern regarding the proposed Shivand Dam, named after the nearby town of Shivand. Despite planning that has stretched over 10 years, Iran's own Iranian cultural heritage organization was not aware of the broader areas of flooding during much of this time. Its placement between both the ruins of Pasargade and Persepolis has many archaeologists and Iranians worried that the dam will flood these UNESCO World Heritage Sites, although scientists involved with the construction say this is not obvious because the sites sit above the planned waterline. Of the two sites, Pasargade is the one considered to be more threatened. Experts agree that the planning of future dam projects in Iran will merit an earlier examination of the risks to cultural resource properties. Of broadly shared concern to archaeologists is the effect of the increase in humidity caused by the lake. All agree that the humidity created by it will speed up the destruction of Pasargade, yet experts from the Ministry of Energy believe it could be partially compensated for by controlling the water level of the reservoir. Construction of the dam began the 19th of April 2007, with the height of the waterline limited so as to mitigate damage to the ruins. Chapter 5, In Popular Culture In 1930, the Brazilian poet Manuel Bandera published a poem called Vum Umbora Pra Passagada, in a book entitled Libertinagem. It tells the story of a man who wants to go to Passagade, described in the poem as a utopian city, Having the children learned in the school about this utopic city created by Manuel Bandera. Manuel Bandera heard the name Pasargade for the first time when he was 16 years old, reading a book by a Greek author. The name of the field of the Persians reminded him of good things, of a place of tranquility and beauties. Years later, in his apartment, during a moment of sadness and anxiety, he had the idea of Vum Umbora Pra Passagada and then created the poem, which surrounds the great part of the Brazilian population's imagination up to date. The following is an extract, in the original then in a translation. Chapter 6, Gallery. 